Okay, hello everyone. Um, this one's going to be about ad blocking uh, for your web browsers, uh, either Chrome, Chromium, or uh, Firefox, etc. Um, the reason I got into looking into this is because uh, I found that uh, some ad block add ons really slowed up the uh, startup time in Firefox. Um, and from testing and disabling that those add-ons, it the, the Firefox the Firefox would open much much quicker without the ad blocking um, add-on. However, um, some sites are just littered with ads and almost impossible to navigate for me anyway. So um, this is running in a virtual box, and I already have it set up on my main machine, so I can't show you the exact effect. Um, but we can step through the process. So let's go to YouTube in Firefox and you can see here I'm gonna have to there's a service you can get to disable this unable to connect but since it's on my main machine it's blocking this ad already okay and if we do the same thing with uh, oops uh, chromium go to YouTube this this being blocked here these are called uh, boiler boiler point pages and you can there's a service you can run that replaces this with like a one by one pixel type of thing. All right, so the best way I found and through reading reading through the Arch Linux wiki is uh, installing uh, DNS Mask and setting it up, and it involves quite a bit of uh, editing. So the first one, first thing is to uh, grab uh, DNS Mask. That's with a Q at the end. So sudo pacman capital S D N S M A S Q and that should take some time not too long I mean to download and it's installed. Now we're gonna have to edit uh, the configuration file. So I'll just copy this. And I'm gonna use leafpad data, you can use nano or G edit, whatever you're using. Uh, to edit so sudo leafpad and then I'll just paste that in do a control F and find listen listen address equals so I could use that right there so you can just uncomment that and that's uh, equals this here just copy and paste so you avoid errors and control S to save and we'll quit that for now then we have to edit our Etsy resolve.conf and same idea. Add name server and then the local host, the 127. So sudo leafpad then Etsy resolve.conf. And hopefully this will work in a virtual machine. I haven't really I haven't tried this out. Okay, and then we have to edit the this next one, Etsy DHCP C D. Again, uh, do a Control F to find and look for a no hook. Add that, replace the uh, lookup host name with that. So paste that in, save, and exit. Now it's a creative file, Etsy resolve .dns -mass config, and you can choose whatever name servers. In this example, it's the Google name servers, but you can use OpenDNS or whatever else you're using. Save that, quit, and we go back to our, uh, DNS mask, and we'll look for again good idea to see what's already in there there it is so just uncomment the resolve file equals copy that paste that in and save all right then we can uh, add the name server to this uh, to, and create a new file here so here's the shortcut is echo name server is the uh, localhost out to this new file here since we're in super, we'll just uh, system control enable DNS mask and we'll start it. If you want to test it, you have to get this uh, DNS util. So since we're in root still, we'll just, uh, I'll just paste that in. And this very last command, dig archlinux.org grep query time. There we go. 40 milliseconds. All right. So that takes care of uh, DNS mask. Okay. So it's running. It'll run at startup and et cetera. Now let's go to host block. Uh, this guy's uh, is on the Arch Linux forum, 
and it's created an awesome uh, utility called host block and you can add a ton of uh, hosts if you wish and there's some screenshots here and it gives you dependencies should have uh, unzip or p7 zip I didn't have much luck with uh, on, uh, downloading this through the ARU it didn't seem to work correctly so you can download the zip file or the tar file either one I'll get the tar I guess so we'll just drag this into here open a terminal inside this folder here to install I found this to work best uh, execute with sudo install this so I'll just do line by line and I'll pause this so so you get the idea so you just just copy uh, these lines on this page I'll put this in the description and then uh, make sure you put sudo at the beginning and then paste it into your command line and uh, so you're finished here okay once that's done uh, you should be able to exit that terminal and open a new one and <clears throat> uh, the configuration um, once it's enabled uh, you can either uh, edit your uh, vi sudo as root to have your username no password I just use sudo anyway so you can do like a check and to see if it's blocked or not and if you want to block a site you can through this so all I have to do is add uh, this add-in hosts to the uh, DS ma DNS mass configuration file so in my case sudo leafpad and then I'll paste that in now again uh, we'll see if uh, add-in hosts is there and paste in there it is so I'll uncomment that line and add in etc the uh, hosts dot block So we'll take that out, this line here, and you can right click and paste, and save. Now on my main machine, if I put this in, uh, the whole thing failed, um, even though I'm using the DNS mass service, this it didn't like this line in here at all. So if, if it doesn't work, you can try it with this line, maybe put it at the end of the file or um, if you did put this in and it doesn't run then take that out okay let's give this a spin so we'll type in uh, sudo host block so we'll do an ls uh, slash var, var slash log there it is you should be able to open this in leafpad so there we go checking block lists okay so you just run host block and don't worry about this error error it's just my fault I forgot to install this on uh, in the virtual machine so to get rid of that boiler point that uh, page and replace it by just blank uh, so it's in Yaoart make sure you have Yaoart installed uh, so just one entry there and uh, you, your choice if you want to edit it or not so it's uh, sudo system ctl enable K, I think that's what it is. K, K W A, K D. Yep. And then we'll start it. And let's go to uh, Chromium. See what happens. It's gone. That funny page is gone. So go to Firefox, YouTube, and the thing here where it says can't establish connection is gone. It's been replaced with that uh, service that we just installed. So that's a uh, a really long-winded way of uh, adding and uh, having an ad blocking facility that's not a browser plugin but a global thing for your browsers and like I said if the blocking um, programs I installed the extensions were really slowing up the browser like if you notice Firefox on to like it opens pretty quick as does chromium okay so if you're running into problems with that and you're using Linux and you want to try a different method of blocking ads 
it doesn't take too much uh, time at startup with its milliseconds um, you might want to try this out so that's it uh, for this one basically uh, there's others you should read through that I'll put the uh, rel relative links uh, in the description and there's even more um, blocking services for malware and stuff you can add in uh, the uh, host file host block file okay so thanks so much for watching and uh, we'll talk to you soon happy surfing <laughs> and bye for now